Let's talk about the on-screen keyboard. If you go to your pen tray, press keyboard. It's going to bring up a keyboard. This way you can continue typing without actually leaving the interactive whiteboard. I'm going to pull up a document to show you what I mean. Here's my document. If you have a document that's already has text on it, that's great. If you need to type more things for some short text, you can type in your letters. Q W E R T Y. As you can see, there's a sound mechanism if you have speakers hooked up to help children listen and understand. When you're finished, you can press enter and it will continue. There are a few types of keyboards that you can look at. I'm going to go briefly through each one. There's the number pad. Well, this is the classic pad. If you press a little drop down here, it actually shows A S D what you're typing, a little preview box. And then you send it and it comes down here. Your number pad just does the numbers. One plus nine equals one zero. And there it is. It does not act as a calculator just as a number pad. The next one you have is for writing. You can turn and write letters. A B C And they'll show up in capital or lowercase, whichever one you write. A shortcut is just for those brief little letters. A. Simple uh, for the younger kids, so you can teach them their keyboarding skills as well as letter recognition. It's always a good idea to lower it down to their level. T S R Q. And again, it shows it up on board. The last setting is simple caps. Same as simple except in capital form. B e C D Those are your basic functions of your keyboard.